Hello everyone, how are you? I am going to go ahead and do your quick reading today. Let's bring in some really nice energy here. Let's also roll the zodiac die and see what signs you might be dealing with. My lovely, lovely Libras, you have drawn or rolled, I guess I should say, Aries, Virgo, Cancer, and Scorpio energy. There is a little Taurus and Sag hanging out, but I don't feel like they've got a very strong influence in here at all. So if you're dealing with a Sag or a, or a Taurus, then uh, you probably have the upper hand is what I'm hearing, which does not mean you should manipulate anything or control anything. It just means don't worry, okay? Don't worry. All right, let's go ahead and see how your day is going to go. What's the energy overall for your day? The chariot changes. You are ready to move forward. Take the reins and run. Oh, boy, yes, you are ready. I guess I should have used my bigger deck here. Sorry about that. All right, let's go ahead and see. You are you are definitely on the go, go, go. You're reared up. You might be even a little bit angry right now and ready to take off. Don't don't be impetuous, okay? Stop. Anytime we let our emotions rule our energy, it w probably is not going to turn out very well. So take deep breaths. To, um, this is good, positive energy. I'm also hearing for some of you, just take some deep breaths, okay? First, don't let your emotions, do not react to the situation. Um, some of you here, the reason you're ready to go is because you are angry. You're finally angry about being taken advantage of, allowing yourself to go through a situation that you know you could have gotten yourself out of at any point. You're ready to move forward. That's a good anger, okay, to see the light of day and be ready to make the changes necessary. However, you still have to do it calmly. Okay, so make sure you take those deep breaths. And obviously there is some sort of situation with uh, possibly a Taurus or Sag or somebody with those signs in their chart. Okay, let's go ahead and see what you need to know. What does Spirit want to tell you about today that you really will benefit from hearing from Spirit? This is going to come to an end. Okay, this is going to... Look, if you can stay patient... If you can stay cool, calm, and collected and not react, okay, choose to walk away from this for now. You will close this cycle out permanently. You'll close the door on whatever this situation is for good, once and for all, okay? No need to worry about that anymore, but you've got to stay, you've got to stay calm. You can't let this person, situation, or whatever it is, make you boil over because you boil over and it's over with um it's going to close the door it will still close the door but not in a very good way all right so let's see what else you need how can you focus your attention what will help you what can spirit tell you that will help you to maintain this sense of balance peace not re overreact what can spirit tell you here Try to see it from everybody's perspective. Look at it from above. Look at it from right at this level. Look at it from down below and looking up. Ask your spirit guides. Trust your mind, body, and soul to keep you calm. Meditate. Okay, bring the three entities together. Mind, body, and spirit. Find some compassion. Find the divinity in the other person so that you can work through this. Okay, there is caution on top, stop in the middle, and go on the bottom. Here in America, the caution is always in the middle. Right now, that's priority one. Okay, whatever's on top is the most important thing to focus on, and that is temperance. So if you feel yourself losing control, take deep breaths, breathe in, hold it, and let it out slowly, and walk away from the situation. If this is a person, tell them, look, I'm going to go take a walk. I'm going to go use the bathroom. If you can't get out of the house or whatever, you can't get away from the, use the bathroom. Close the door. Calm yourself down. If you are in a public place, 
it would be better to go into like to stay in that public place so that it can't escalate. Very few people actually want to have a major blowout in a public place. Okay, so your focus is on being centered, keeping your cool, meditating, surrendering your feelings up to your higher power. Okay, beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay. So your focus, and I'm hearing, see, this is like just the morning. So whatever happens, it will probably be done by mid-morning. You'll be fine. It'll be over. It will be done with. Let's see uh, what's happening here with your family and your surroundings. Not just your family. Let's see what's happening in your overall surroundings. Now, this could definitely pertain to a family member, a co-worker, a boss, a professor. All right, so we have the Ten of Swords in reverse, and we have the Eight of Wands. So I'm hearing somebody's holding on to a grudge. Don't hold on to the grudge, okay? With the Ten of Swords, that's letting the grudge go, Let, letting the hurt fly, letting it go away. Somebody here may be hanging on to it. Um, Spirit's advice is to let this go, isn't it? Don't hang on to this. Don't hold a grudge. Because the only person that a grudge hurts is you. So speak your truth if you need to speak. Okay? If if you have to if you have to and you don't feel confident enough to speak to this person in a, a cool, calm, collected um, energy, write it down. Write a letter to this person or this situation or whatever and say, dear so-and-so, you are a real jerk. Write down whatever feelings you're having. Do not give that letter to that person. This is for you to get that energy out of you, okay? So there is, I mean, there is this element around you in your environment of frustration and, and an unwillingness to move forward. You're just, you can't. Okay, this is like the Eight of Swords with a couple of more. Normally, you'd be putting this down. And it's like you're, you're just not willing to. You're holding on to a grudge here. Okay, so write it down on paper. Get out. Use whatever language you need to use. You would never say this to this person's face because you would not want to hurt this person. You would not want to ruin your reputation, whatever. But when you're done, shred it. Throw it away. Do not keep this type of anger around negative energy. No, dispel it. Get rid of it. Okay? But writing it out will get it out of your body onto the paper. And then when you put it in that shredder, it's like magic. It just releases all this energy. Now, if you don't have a paper shredder, you can sit there and cut it up with pieces, you know, with scissors. Or you can tear it and just listen to the sound of the paper tearing. Okay, and then make sure it's disposed of properly. All right, let's go ahead and see what's happening in the rest of your day here. Do we have any worries about money or finances or anything else here, Spirit? Let's give them some peaceful inf information here. Look, yeah, money's fine. The rest of your life is fine. Everything's good. Just whatever this one situation is. And by midday, mid-afternoon, Everything's fine. Everything is taken care of. You're released from the tension, the stress, the whatever the situation is. Now you're you're happy again. Very, very happy. Nine of cups there. Look at this. Eight, nine, ten. So you do finally put that burden down. Seven, eight, nine, ten. Definitely very good here. All right. Let's go ahead and see what the most, how your day is going to end. I mean, if you're feeling like this midday, Dang, what else could be better? The sun card. <laughs> All right, let's see how your day ends here. Just sitting back, kind of mulling things over. Yeah, and that's typical. So don't beat up on yourself for anything. Just let it go. But I, I like that you're taking time to actually think it through. Because that shows growth, expansion, maturity, and a, a, a desire to move on from this type of energy, okay? Like, I don't want to feel that way anymore. I, I'm not happy with that type of energy. How? What can I do? What momentum can I build so that when something like this comes up, I don't get thrown into this tizzy of reacting, okay? So now you're planning ahead. You're thinking ahead. 
and you're like, I just don't want to go through this anymore. So some of you, I will say, are going to leave this situation. Okay, I am getting that there will be travel, um, letting go. Let's see what else we can get from Spirit. Look at that. I felt that Wheel of Fortune there. I was like, what could be better than getting the Nine of Cups? And I was like, the Sun or the Wheel of Fortune telling me that I'm heading in the right direction. All right, so you do have that. Oh, I put this up here. So there must be one more card. One more message here about what the outcome, the end of your day. Anytime you get the wheel card, that says that things are moving in the right direction. You're, you're going to be freed from whatever you were dealing with. Okay, now there's a new journey about to um, start a new idea, a new uh, session of luck, of happiness, of joy, bliss, freedom, balance. See what else we've got here. Have we got anything else here, Spirit? Or is that it? Is that the end of the message? Nope, that's not the end of the message. You've got the King of Swords, Libras being in their element, using their head to move past this type of thing. Thinking, again, thinking about how to preserve the relationships, but put it behind you. Put the hurtful things behind you. Set things free and trust your intuition so that you can have... Three of Cups, happiness, joy, again, um, connections with those that you do love. So some of you, again, I'm getting a little bit of just maybe one or two of you literally leaving a situation, whatever it is, leaving it behind, putting it behind you. For the rest of you, you're balancing things back out. This relationship with this person is going to be good, okay? It looks really nice. All right, let's get you an Oracle message and move on. We're going to get you a soul coaching oracle message here. Don't forget to tickle tap boop or zap the like button here for me. Claim this in the comments. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. Um, awesome community. And this is your personal invite to subscribe and join us. If you would like a personal reading, please email me. I will send you all the information that you need, prices, and how it works. Miracles. Your life is a miracle. <clears throat> I'm caught between L and O. <laughs> miracles. The card meaning here is miracles occur in your life every single day. Watch for and embrace them when they happen. As you start to notice and accept the small wonders in your life, the greater gifts will grow in abundance all around you. What your soul wants you to know is that you can expect miracles at this time. Praise and celebrate them when they appear, no matter how small. Be open to allowing the creator to solve challenges for you in mysterious and wondrous ways. Trust that everything is unfolding graciously and perfectly in your life and let go of your fears and your doubts. Don't limit the way that miracles can happen for you, okay, by having expectations. Be open for them to appear from sources and in ways that you just cannot even imagine, okay? So don't try to force miracles to happen a certain way. Let them come to you. That's what makes them miraculous, that awe and wonder and like, wow, I can't believe that that could happen. That's awesome. That's the energy you want. All right, I'm going to close out by bringing in some more positive energy here and sending you out into the world with miracles awaiting. <laughs> 